For the next couple of lessons, we're going to be using my little test lab right here, Blending Modes Test Lab, to test out all of these different types of blending modes. So go ahead in your exercise file and open that thing up. Blending Modes Testing Lab. Now remember how this works. We have a base, we have a blend, and we have a result. Now let me turn some of the stuff off for a second. All of the images, our bottom layer, is going to be the base, this. So I'm using the same image in each one, but our blend layer will change. So with each one of the blending modes that we're going to use, we're going to check it out against a gradient, check it out against a mid cyan color, and check it out against itself. So if I turn those back on again, you can see that each one is now on top. I'm going to leave these down here so we can keep our minds fresh on exactly what's happening. And we're going to play with the blending modes. Now up here, since I have these in a group, this is going to make it faster. I can change the blending mode on all three of those covers by just changing this up here one time. Now let's start with the darkened blending modes here. Now remember what we're doing. We're blending the colors in those three into the base. Let's go to darken. Now what darken does is this. It looks at the color information and selects the base or blend color, whichever is darker. So in either one of the layers, whatever is darker wins. Now if you'll notice here, as the gradient gets darker, it wins. It gets darker based on what you see here. It's subtle, but it's there. In a mid-tone cyan, it really darkens up the image and really gets a lot of these areas and changes their color. On this one, it doesn't do a thing because it's dealing with the exact same image on top of itself, and in this case, they're neutral. It doesn't change at all. That's darkened. Multiply, to me, is a very simple one to understand. It just makes things darker by putting them together, almost like when I was in a dark room putting two negatives together in the enlarger and then exposing them, and watch what happens. Well, in all cases, we're getting darker. In this case, though, the effect is more intense as we get toward the darker areas here. This one right here, because it's a very neutral cyan, just about blows the whole thing out, except the lighter areas. And this one, although it's subtle, does make it darker, especially over in this area right here where it is darker. That's multiply. Next one is color burn. Color burn is going to look at the color information, and it's going to darken the base color, remember what base is, to reflect the blend color by increasing the contrast between the two. Take a look at that one. Let's go to color burn. Now notice how they've all been impacted in a sense of getting darker. But you'll notice like as these areas get darker, and don't just think of that as a grayscale gradient. Think of it as an image that has darker areas in it. They are going to impact these areas more. This one stayed about the same, but it's really blown out because of that neutral color we have in here as a cyan. And on this one, the effect is about the same, but it gets darker and more intense in here. The next one is called a linear burn. Now it looks at the color information and darkens the base color to reflect the blend color. So far we're on track with color burn. However, it does it by decreasing the brightness. So let's go down and check that one out. And in all cases, it's decreasing the brightness. Things are getting darker based on the color that we're using. The last one is called darker color. Now, when you go to darker color, if you look at this, what it's doing is it's using the darker color against itself to lighten areas up as opposed to darken them. All the different blending modes. Let's go practical here for a second. Go into apply right here. This is a group. And select light. Let me go ahead and turn that on so we can see it. There we go. An image taken that's a little bit lighter than what I want it to be. So what do I do? Well, darken blending modes darken things up. So let's make a copy of light. All you gotta do is press Control J, and that'd be the easiest way to do it. So now we have two of them. But since we don't have any blending modes turned on yet, it doesn't really change. Come up here to normal on the light copy. Change it maybe to darken. Or multiply. You could try both. Let's try multiply. Now the image is darker now than what I want, but it's better overall in terms of density. So I can go to light copy now and dial down the opacity of the layer 
and get what I think is a little better image just by using one simple blending mode. Are there other ways to do this? Of course there are. Curves and levels, a lot of different ways that in some cases might even be a hundred times better. I call this more or less my down and dirty way to make this work. Now we need to reset this for the next lesson. So what I'm going to do, number one, is get rid of light copy. I'm just going to press delete. I'm going to close out the apply area and turn that off. And then in the blend area, I'm going to take that right back to pass through. Okay, now we're ready to start the next lesson. So on to the next.